Hello Fly Tires, welcome to another episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk. Today I'm going to show you a worm pattern and I call this the power worm. It's patterned after a traditional San Juan worm but I can tell you it's better and catches more fish. One of uh, my fly fishing mentors and you will see him on on videos um, that we take especially the spring and summer he's been on a couple already is Trevor Murray and Trevor catches a lot of fish and his philosophy is it doesn't matter so much what the fly looks like it matters if he can get it down to the fish so Trevor likes a lot of weight on his flies because he likes to get right down where the fish are so on this worm pattern I'm actually right in the middle of the hook. I'm putting some uh, lead just wrapped around. And I like to, whoops, you can tell my kids been in the fly tying stuff again because the glue's got the lid off it. But I put a little bit of super glue on my lead. And then I wrap my thread through it. Okay, and you see I'm using a red thread today. Oh, I kind of messed that wire up. So I like to get some red wire so my worm's got a little bit of tint to it. Today we're using a Daiichi 1270 uh, size 12 hook. So the first material we're going to use is some ultra chenille and it's the same type of chenille you use when you're tying just a regular San Juan worm. So I'm going to go all the way to where this hook starts curving down and I'm going to just attach my ultra chenille. Wrap it on nice and tight. And then my worm is going to go to the point of the hook. So I want this ultra chenille just a little bit longer than the length of my hook. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our trusty Bic lighter. And I'm going to burn the edge of that. So now I've got a nice pointy natural tail for my worm. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some V-rib and this is just a light olive color and on V-rib you got a flat side and then you've got a curved side. So I'm going to put this V-rib to where it just covers the lead. And I'm going to wrap quite a bit of thread around this because I want the underbody of this worm to be red. Because as I wrap the light olive around this red, it, it gives it a really cool wormy color. So I've wrapped three wraps behind the V-rib and you'll see why here in a second. So you're going to go back a little farther. Just two wraps will do that. Okay, so you can see I've got a nice uh, red underbody. So now I'm going to take my V-rib and I'm simply going to just start wrapping it around this hook. end it right there okay and you can see I've left about an eighth of an inch on the front of this hook because I want the head of this worm to have this nice blood red color so I'm really going to build the head up nice on it Like 
like so. And then we'll get our whip finisher out. And we'll whip finish it. Okay, and that alone looks pretty good as a worm. But we're gonna do one more step here. We're gonna get our trusty UV glue. And I'm gonna simply coat my V-rib and my head with some UV glue. And what it does is just gives it that extra wormy look and it also adds a little bit of extra weight to the fly all right so we turn that off so now you can see we've got a nice good looking worm it's got that red underbelly which I feel like is a trigger for fish and then we put this red tip on it it's all sealed in nice with the UV glue a virtually indestructible fly and it's got a lot of uh, good weight to it because we put lead in it so this my friends I have to say is better than a traditional San Juan worm we call it the power worm so thank you for watching this episode of Aaron at the fly desk and we hope you tie this fly, try this fly, and catch some fish with it. And post in the comments uh, how it worked for you. Thank you for watching. <laughs>